I'm standing here in Alder Grove. I, uh, this is a, a new bus stop that's been put in here. This is the 503 Surrey Central Station stop that's on Station Road in, Ab in Alder Grove. The number 21, it says Valley Max Service, 21 Alder Grove. That number 21 leaves from Alder Grove to Abbotsford, but unfortunately, due to a labor dispute, uh, bus service out in the Fraser Valley is not happening right now. And it hasn't happened for two months as of the time of this video. Now, it's very unfortunate that a labor dispute has now stopped all public transit in the region. So right here is where I'm standing and you can see a bus parked here. This is a TransLink uh, a bus uh, for under TransLink. Uh, so it's Coast Mountain Bus Company who provides the bus service under TransLink. I don't know why that it can't just be one bus service throughout the whole region. Um, I'm still baffled on that because people have to have essential bus service. And when there's no essential bus service, how do you get around? So down uh, this way over to my right, on the other side, on the right hand side of the intersection, is technically Abbotsford. We're on Station Road. So this right here where I'm standing, we're on the side of the regional service, Transit, TransLink's regional service for bus service. On the right hand side, we're on the left hand side. On the right hand side is BC Transit. TransLink, TransLink, BC Transit. Why can't we have one regional service? I'm gonna advocate and get this fixed because to me, it's, it's just nonsense not having one regional service where you've got a bus company who was contracted to have the service. It's a U.S. company uh, and they got the contract through BC Transit. They contracted out the service. I don't know the details, but later in, uh, in this video, I'm going to do my best to uh, join up with and meet up with some QP members and maybe they can uh, shed some light on to what is happening um, so stay tuned on uh, on the segment of this video uh, that's a journey uh, for me to take out to make my way out to uh, connect up with them and find out their uh, their view of it but from what I've my understanding from what I've learned is that uh, BC Transit services all the way out to Chilliwack and further points eastbound throughout the Fraser Valley. And that's the central Fraser Valley, which is Abbotsford, eastern Fraser Valley, which is Chilliwack, Hope, Agassiz, uh, Harrison Hot Springs, and uh, other communities that are in that area. So that unfortunately they have no bus service right now. None whatsoever. Handy Dart, it's only for uh, not even a, like they say essential service, but it's only if you have diagnostic appointments that you have to go to like cancer treatment dia dialysis and stuff like that um then then yes but you have to book it in advance for those kind of appointments so it's still not the average person can just jump on the bus and say i i need to go uh you know i need to go to fresh coat i need to do some shopping or i need to go to safeway and yes there is safeway out in this area and some areas of uh bc don't have a safeway i know where where we live out in Victoria, they don't have a Safeway. And I miss I miss all these variety of stores out in the area here. I, I come out here and I'm like, wow, I see so many uh, neat stores. See, that's uh, Freshco uh, where there's a Lay's truck that's just backing up there right now and just loading up into the uh, loading zone uh, for loading up Lay's chips into uh, Freshco. I guess they're uh, fresh, fresh Lay's chips into fresh into uh you know fresh coke <laughs> right that's a fun i'm being funny but seriously with all all seriousness um public transit is an essential service and we need to get the public transit back rolling the buses need to be on the road not parked in in their yards uh, what's happening here with the labor dispute is the working conditions under bc transit they don't have very good working conditions right now with their employer Number two, the wages are 32% below this bus that's parked right here. TransLink, their counterparts, BC Transit's counterparts, are making less than the TransLink employees. 
how how is that right where they're providing the same service they're driving the same vehicles that the TransLink employees are driving like to me it doesn't make sense and it doesn't make sense to contract out a service where I could put it under one umbrella I advocated about this stuff years ago and I'm this is nonsense it's got to stop we need to put it all under one umbrella let's get it done let's do it